Here's something that we need to uh, re-educate ourselves because we are convinced, we've been told, we've heard, we've seen men and women are sexual and the attraction is sexual and you can't go for a month without having sexual you know the most effective lie is the biggest lie if you make a lie that is so big it is so far from the truth everybody will believe you because I mean you couldn't lie like that could you yeah, you can lie like that. And the biggest lie is the most believable. This is such a lie. It's such a sales pitch. It's produced by advertising companies, by the media, by a society that only wants to sell. And this sells. So for the last hundred years, They've been pumping this, not this message through every form, visual and from hearing and from printing and from... The message is, everybody has to have sex. It's not true. Begashmi is, it's not true. It is also not true that everybody has to have Coca-Cola. In fact, Nobody needs Coca-Cola. Nobody. Not you shouldn't. You don't need it. There's no need. The body does not need that kind of sugar. It doesn't. But the media is so good that it has us all convinced. So we have to clean that away. Before you get married, you go into Yechidas and you ask the Rebbe that you should come into the marriage without Machshav You don't want to bring foreign Nadishkait Machshav into your marriage. And there's a lot of Nadishkeit going on. So the Rebbe told people to learn an Aveda de Kemaimer and memorize it. Not word for word. The, 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 the Inyanim. So Alpinigla, before you get married, you have to learn a Masechta. If you're marrying a, a Baskoyan, you have to learn one little Masechta. Alpichsidus, <coughs> whatever you have already learned, before you get married, memorize an Aved de that will clean away some of the uh, accumulated Machshav and then you can come into the marriage innocent, clean. And that enables you to experience intimacy for what it really is, the tainug of bitl that allows you to become Bosar Echad. The result is that being intimate doesn't diminish you. It doesn't damage your edelkeit. It doesn't make you grub. On the contrary. It makes you capable of bringing keya habli gvul into, into gvul.